Well, the children were always getting into trouble, and they were getting out of it within a half an hour. And if the parents uh, had made a mistake, they apologized. Um, and it was funny. I, I can remember my own son who had his first child, a boy, and I can remember him doing exactly what Ward did. He took him upstairs, and a little while, he would come down holding hands with the kid. He'd had a talk with him upstairs. And I, I, think, I think from what I hear, people learned a lot about having a family and bringing children up. People want me to write a book, but I know better than that. <laughs> We didn't, we didn't do anything that was terrible. Well, instead of marijuana, uh, Beaver smoked his father's meerschaum pipe. And, um, and this kind of thing, but, but we didn't have, oh, and the boys did terrible things, but they were pranks. They were, you know, they, Mr. Rutherford comes out of the house one day because the boys are making a lot of noise out there on purpose to get him to come out. And they've put big hoops. And poor Mr. Rutherford, he steps on the hoops, and of course, it, they all hit, hit him in the shins. This is the kind of things they did. But they weren't into drugs. They weren't into pregnancy. We wouldn't have talked about that. Hugh and I didn't even have a bedroom, you know. Uh, we had a door we came out of. You never saw us in the bedroom. We come out of the door tying our robes. But now, again, when we did the new Leave it to Beaver, uh, Tony and his wife, they were in bed quite a bit. <laughs> not, not overly, not talking, not, not doing what they do on television today, no. I don't think that they talked about what was going on in the country or the world. I never remember a show that we did that. We were we always had a message. It wasn't thrown at you, but it was there, and uh, that we always had. But but world things, no. Maybe that's why it's timely today, because we didn't, you know, talk about what was going on.